Boozers, and welcome to day 14. Yep, 14, 10 days. 10 days to go until we are done this calendar. Wow, almost there. Well, today we've got something from Oud Biersel, and uh, it's a Biersel's Sour Blend. It's a blonde sour ale coming in at 6%. Now, this beer is from the Netherlands, I do believe, um, and it seems that there's a lot of different languages on here, so why don't we just get right into it? We know it's a sour blonde, so I'm wondering if it's, it's probably not a kettle sour, because they don't really do kettle sours over there. It's probably a true sour, which would be interesting. So yeah, um, this is best before June 20th, 2018. Seriously, 2018. So yeah, three years is gonna be uh, held for. All right, so we have a little bit of cloud. Some great head on it. Awesome head, beautiful white head. Um, medium to actually a little bit more than medium carbonation. It's got some uh, heavier carbonation on it. The smell. Oh, yep, that's definitely a sour beer. <laughs> You've got the uh, the lemon smell to it. Um, the almost uh, fermented uh, lemon in a little ways. Oh, yeah, that's definitely got. Oh, that's definitely got a good sour smell to it. All right, folks. Cheers. That's oh, bitter, but it's not really badly bitter. So you have a weedy and yeasty taste to it. Um, you also have like a sort of grainy back note on it. It's... Wow, it's a sour. And you have sort of like a lemony zest with it as well. It's actually pretty decent. It's an easy drinking sour beer. It's not heavy on the sour. In fact, it's actually quite mild compared to what some sours I've had before. It's really quite delightful. Um, it's what I would find in a natural sour beer. It actually has some good flavors to it. It's got some beautiful aromas, um, but it also has a nice, nice tang to it. It's actually quite delicious. I could probably done that really quickly. Uh, it tastes more like a four percent than a six, so it's really quite good. And we have to give this one a four to five. I don't mind the sours. This one is better than what the other ones I've had. In fact, the sour starts to disappear with each sip, which is uh, odd, but it's still really good. I do enjoy that. That's actually pretty good. It becomes an easy drinking beer after a few sips, after your your tongue and everyone and everything gets really used to the flavor. So yeah, well, day fourteen. Who know? Nice and easy, quick, and we'll be off to day fifteen. We'll have another beer for you. Until then, folks, my name is Pete Kay, and for now, I'm saying cheers, stay frosty, and we'll see you next time. Have a good night.